says, I might pass on my message. I did phone you last night, but you were still out. I'm stuck going to some more nights with the girls from the leisure centre. You don't have to lie to me, Jack. What do you mean? You with that call from next door. What time do you call it? Sorry, we ended up going to this girl's party, the Jackie knows. She let us stay on the floor. We promised to have the car back last night. It's just as well me and your mother hadn't planned on going anywhere this morning. God, I've never known anyone so selfish. We've been bullied sick. Could have had a crash or anything for all we knew. Don't worry, the car's still in one piece. I better that be. I mean, you could at least phone, let us know you were staying out. I just got carried away, I forgot. Oh, I'll spare us the details, we don't want to know. You do know he's married with a child. He's separated. It, it's all over between them. You'd really like him, Mum. He's dead nice. So were you out with him all night? Did you? He didn't force me to do anything. So you slept with him? Yeah, but it was my decision. Something I wanted to do. You were careful, weren't you? You didn't take any risks? Of course not. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like five minutes since you were born. Are you mad at me? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. You're so young. I'm 18. I know times have changed. I know things are different from when I was your age. I wouldn't be being so calm about it. I thought you would have gone off your head. Well, I've already lost your dad and our Tony. I've got no intentions of losing you. I suppose you've changed your mind. Oh, yeah? What about? You better let me play for your footy team. Oh, come on. I've already told you once. It's an all-lad squad. Could take it to court for this, you know. Could do you for sexual discrimination. Oh, could you know? Why can't you just give me a trial? I'm good. Because I can't, that's why. And I won't be blackmailed to change my mind. All right. <laughs> right then, you ready to run me down to Asda? Are you my love? Anything. Hey, Puglux. What were you doing in that car last night? What? The sand all over the floor. I'll clean it up for you later. Never mind later. You can get out there and get it done now. Dad, will you stop treating me like a kid all the time? I will when you stop acting like one. Haven't you got any respect for anything? It's only a bit of sand. There's no need to have a heart attack over it. Hey, less the cheek. Just get out there and get it done. I said I'd do it later, didn't I? Uh, don't you walk away from me. I'm talking to you. I'm going out. Look, just leave him, Ed. You let him get away with me, do you? Oh, no, don't go blaming me. We all know where he gets his temper from. Now, come on, Asda. Is it all right if Rachel comes in for a bit, Mum? Of course it is. Hi. Hi, Rachel. How are you, love? All right, thanks. Now, me and your dad are going down the supermarket now, so don't be playing any loud music while we're out. Oh, don't worry, we won't. Right, we won't be long. See you in a bit. See ya. Who are you phoning? Oh, just one of my little brainwaves. It's about time that Mick Johnson starts taking you seriously. All right, Max. Just checking the damage on my insurance claim. Make sure it's all down before the getaway, you know. And a bit more. You're not going anywhere till we've discussed the future of our business. That is, if there still is a future. Well, of course there is. Well, in that case, then, I really must insist on the pair of us sitting down and sorting everything out. I mean, this has dragged on for too long. I'm sick and tired of being taken for granted. All right, Max, fair enough. Listen here, I've got to go back to the flat first. I'll penny pack. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you at uh, the club this afternoon. Right, uh, this afternoon it is, then. Um, I've got nothing planned. And Max... I really do appreciate the way you've been so understanding. And I'm sorry I've got to go away again like this, you know. And you also must appreciate that I can't afford to wait around any longer. I, I realise that you've been through a lot and it's obviously going to catch up with you eventually. Eh? But now really is the time to get things moving. I mean, this is important to me and Patricia. And me. Right. Right, well, I'll see you this afternoon. Then. When are you going to get this place sorted out? I've got some fellas coming in while I'm away. They should have it ready by the time we get back, so uh, we'll be neighbours, eh? <laughs> Couldn't imagine you living round here somehow, I mean, all well, looks a bit too suburban. Well, we've all got to settle down sometime. Uh, and what about Penny? Will she be staying on at the flat, or will she be moving in here with, um, with you? Oh, I don't know, Max. I haven't really given it much thought. Let's just see what happens, eh? Mm. Look, I've got nothing else to say about it. I I'm sorry, there's no room in the team, and that's all there is to it. Listen, I've got to go. I've got a business to run here. See ya. 
I don't believe this. What's up? You never guess who that was on the phone. Who? Only reporter from the Maisie Mart. What did they want? She wanted to interview me on why I want the girls in the fuzzy team. You're joking. That Rachel Jordas has gone too far this time. Better get to work. Jim be wondering where I am. All right, then. See you later. Mum. Yeah? Thanks. What for? Oh, I don't know. For being understanding, for not kicking off. Just because I'm not shouting my mouth off doesn't mean I approve. You're a young woman now. I can't tell you off anymore. But I can still give you advice. So, what advice would you give me? Well, for a start, not to get involved with a married man. It's a bit late for that now. Hey, you haven't taken lessons from that Bev, have you? <sighs> Don't talk soft. He's getting divorced. It's not like he was having an affair or anything. The marriage was well over before I ever came along. He just got married too young, that's all. Yeah, but at the end of the day, he's a married man with a wife and child. If he can't stand by them after only a few years, don't go kidding yourself, he's going to treat you any differently. Oh, look, I'm only warning you, cos, well, I'm concerned about you and I don't want to see you hurt. Don't go building your hopes up, eh? Hey, Gary, don't be getting in people's way with the ball, will you? I won't. Right. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't suppose you two know anything about a mysterious phone call I got this happy, would you? Been getting dirty phone calls, have you? Oh, look at you. <laughs> no, it's just that you're a lad and that Rachel joined us around earlier. Giving me a hard time about not letting girls on the footy team. Well, you stick to your guns, mate. I've never heard of anything so stupid in my whole life. Hey, you! Sexist pig! You'll be homeless if I hear you talking like that again. Anyhow, the next thing I know, I'm getting a call from a reporter at the Maisie Mart. Accusing me of discrimination. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? Well, that's what I thought. I hope Ali hasn't got anything to do with this. Hey, I'm on his and Rachel's side over this. Oh, I don't understand why you can't have girls in the team. It's not as simple as that, love. Why not? Look, you haven't even seen her play. How do you know she isn't ten times better than anyone else you've got now? Hey, that wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, all right, thanks, Gary. Here you are, talk of the devil. Look, if you want to be fair, why don't you give her a try? What now? Yeah, why not? Look, if she's no good, then you've got a good excuse not to let her in the team then, haven't you? All right, all right. Anything for a bit of peace, eh? Yeah, pass us that ball, lad. Hey, Rachel, get here, love. Rick's gonna give you the child for his team. What, here? Yeah, go on, love. Show them what you're made of. Hey, and don't let them intimidate you. They're only men. Oh, I feel ashamed with you all standing around. Here you are. She's had a chance. Well, just do it. He mightn't give you another chance. All right, then. This should be a laugh. <laughs> Come on. What do you want me to do? Oh, well, uh, obviously we can't do much here, so uh, I suppose I just need to see that you've got balance and uh, good ball control and that, you know. OK, no problem. You gonna give it a proper trial over? Well, uh, what do you reckon, Gary? You are my assistant trainer. Never mind the trial. Put her straight in the team. She's better than anything we've got. Yeah, well, all right. Uh, we'll sort something else, all right. So, when's best for you, then? You'll have to speak to my manager. You what? I'll be in touch to discuss terms. So, how's your back, then? Pretty much the same. If I don't get better soon, I could end up losing me round. Behave, it won't come to that. Well, I'll be right. Still wearing the old bondage gear, are you? Surgical corset. Mind you, half the world knows about it now. Never be able to look anyone in the eye again. You know to find out, like? Me and Mandy went down the swamp last night for a quiet drink, only to bump into the girls from the cross, and Mandy let it slip. Wasn't gonna hear the end of it. Your Jackie was there. Good to see you out and about. My Jackie was there? Yeah, I think he had and Bev had gone for a drink straight from work, you know. Well, what's she doing out with that Bev? She's half Jackie's age. Well, we were only having a drink. Yeah. And who else was there, like? Me and Mandy, Dee Dee and Rosie Banks. And that's it? No fellas or anything? No, only me. Why? I just don't like the idea of Jackie going out to pubs while I'm stuck in here. Oh, come off it, Jimmy. What do you expect her to do? Sit in the house crying about you all day? You won't even let her come and visit you. 
And how would you feel, eh? If your Mandy started going out boozing with that Bev one? We've all heard what she's like, haven't we? Hey, wouldn't it, Rundix? Now you're saying that. Well, don't go getting paranoid, Jimmy. It was all dead innocent. Spent the whole night playing darts. You've even formed their own team and everything. Your Jackie was quite good. Jackie and her dad's team? Yeah, we have got to make it a regular thing. So there's no harm in that, is there? You should be glad she's out enjoying herself. You're the one who's in prison, you know, not her. If I move forward, Mick, I really appreciate it. It's all right. You're a good player. You deserve a proper chance. Should have seen Mick's face before when that woman from the paper found. <gasps> good move, that. Thanks. Uh, I'm Gary, by the way. Rachel, and that's Lee. All right. Uh, are you related to Mick Johnson? No, I'm just staying with him for a bit while my mum's in Aussie. Where's your dad? He's inside, in prison, like. My dad was in prison. Was he? Didn't know that. There's lots of things you don't know about me. Chop hello. Should we go back on the clothes? Yeah, may as well. Come with us if you like. Bring the ball, we can have a knock about. Yeah, all right. Nice one. Hi, hi. Um, I want to play footy with these. Is that all right? Yeah, of course it is. Hey, you. And thanks for getting the press on to me. <laughs> Don't mention it. So when are you going to sign on for us, then? Well, I'll have to think about it. I haven't really got time to be in my diary just now. Me mum and dad's all right about you staying out last night. Me mum was all right, but my dad kicks off about anything that involves me. <sighs> me mum caught me sneaking into the house. She knew I'd be in with you. I had to have all big, deep conversations with her. It was dead embarrassing. How did she know you was me? Because she went for a drink last night with you, mum. She didn't give you a hard time about it, did she? No, she was dead sound about it. I couldn't believe it. I suppose she had to find out about us sooner or later. Yeah. So, um, what are you doing tonight? I promise you I might go for a bevy with him. Oh, right. What about the weekend, then? Maybe we could do something? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'll probably be seeing Rebecca. Oh, right. Maybe we'll do something next week, then. Yeah, just see what happens, eh? You been shopping? Yeah, I just bought myself a new pair of kecks in the sale. I thought you said you were skint. Me mum gave me the money. Lucky you. I wish my mum would give me money to go there. Jack! Your tea's ready. Yeah, I'm coming now. I'll uh, see you when I see you then. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> What's all Lee like getting the paper onto Mick Johnson like that? I know, it's a case. <laughs> nice to see him using his brains for a change. Yeah. Where have you been? Town. What's all this? Treated myself to a new pair of kecks. Going out for a bevy with Mike tonight. How much did they cost? Don't worry, they were reduced in the sale. How much? Only 60 quid. How much? 60 quid. Well, where'd you get that kind of money from? I thought you were supposed to be broke. I had 100 pounds in my post office accounts. And you went and blew it all in a pair of fancy pants for yourself? What's wrong with that? I'll tell you what's wrong with that, soft lad. You've just lost your job, and you've got a wife out there who's struggling to bring up your three-year-old daughter on a pittance, living in squalor. Any decent fellow would have spent the money on his kid. Am I allowed to treat myself occasionally? No, you're bloody not. You seem to be forgetting that it's not your money to spend. It's me and your mother who've been subsidising you. You haven't given us a penny towards your keep. Well, these are going back to the shop. No, they're not. Oh, they bloody are. The pair of you just pack it in. Tell him he's the one who's always kicking off. These are going back to the shop, and that's all there is to it. Mum, will you tell him? Just give the bloody things to me. Oh, great. Happy now? See? Did have fallen apart anyway. 60 quid for trousers. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you mind taking that thing down the other end of the close? Uh, I think people around here have had enough of broken windows recently. Yeah, all right. Miserable snot. 
Have you still got a cob on because Jackie went out last night? No. OK. I better get going before they kick me out. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. Look, Jimmy, why don't you let Jackie come in and see you? I mean, you must be cracking. You're not going all this time without any contact. No. I swore to myself I'd never let her see me in this place. And I meant it. But you're not doing yourself any favours. And surely it's not going to do any harm just to let her come in occasionally. Listen. Hopefully I'm going to be out of this place early. I've promised myself that I'm going to leave here a new man. Prove to Jackie that I can do it. That's if she hasn't found herself a new fella by the time I get out. Jimmy, we've been through all this. You're just torturing yourself. Am I? She's still got her looks, you know. She's still attractive. What's to stop her from copping off with someone else, eh? Because she still loves you. That's why. I'll see you soon. Yeah. See ya. So, are you with me or not? Look, I need your commitment. Look, Max. I'm sorry you've had to do all this on your own. You're a really good bloke. And I enjoy working with you. So believe me when I tell you that I'm taking this restaurant venture every bit as seriously as you are. So I'll promise you, when I get back, we'll really get working on this. Cross my heart and hope to die. Well, that's why I've organised a proper schedule. Now, I've worked everything out down to the last detail, bearing in mind, of course, all that still needs to be carried out. And don't see any reason why we shouldn't be open by... Uh... November. November? Well, why not make it November the 5th, then? Bomby night. That way we can open up with a bang. As long as you're not referring to guns or explosions. November the 5th? <laughs> right, well, November the 5th it is. Right. Well, now we finish with this lot. Come outside with me. I've got something I want to show you. Where are you going? What do you think of this? Oh! Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Is it yours? No. It's yours. Pardon? It's a company car. Well, can we afford it? Well, don't worry. It's all above board. I don't believe it, I... Well, it just shows you how serious I am about the business, doesn't it? This is my commitment to you and the business. Say, I mean, thank you. Thank you? Yeah. Go on, have a proper look. Go on. I don't believe this. I... Yeah, nice motor. Yeah, it's Max's. Yeah, it's all right for some, isn't it? Hey, Simba, I've been meaning to have a word with you. Listen, Barry, if it's about me caretaking, I'm really very sorry, but hopefully I should be able to start again next week. Well, I should think so. It doesn't look as if there's anything wrong with you to Honest, me. Honest, Barry, no. I mean, I can get about now, but if I push it too much, it kills me, and I'm still getting shooting pains up here, and then right across here, and it's coming Look, right... anyway, that's not what I want to see you about. What, then? Well, I'm getting off for a couple of weeks, aren't I? Oh, you're off on your holidays again, are you? Florida, two oh. weeks. Very nice. Don't suppose there's any room in the suitcase for me and Mandy, is there? No, but you could do me a favour while I'm away. Could you there uh, pop down to the Aussie and give these to Terry? What's it for? What's well, the keys to me flat. Tell him we can move in there if he wants when he gets out. Into your flat? Yeah, well, it'll just be lying empty otherwise, won't it? I'll be moving into the house when I get back. <sighs> All right, I'll go in and see him. And I'd appreciate it if you keep an eye on him as well. You know what he's like. He's off his head and he needs looking after. All right, see you later. So, what do you think? <laughs> I'm speechless. It's absolutely fantastic. So does this mean I can go on my holidays, then? <laughs> well, of course you can, but don't be overdoing it, because you've got a lot of work to do when you get back. Oh, right. <laughs> 25 points, you've got three seconds. See you later, I'm going out. You're going nowhere, bug lugs. Dad, I don't want to argue with you. It's a waste of time. Good because I don't want to argue with you either. Right, I'll see you later then. I've told you, you're going nowhere. You've wasted enough money for one day on those stupid trousers. Er, uh, how much money have you got on you? None of your business. I said how much? About 30 quid. Hand it over. No way. Either you hand it over, or you go upstairs, pack your bags, and find yourself somewhere else to live. And in future, you can give us your doll money and all, because I'm sick of you taking us for granted. He's not taking things a bit too far. He is an adult. He's still got his own life to lead. He gave up his life when he got his girlfriend pregnant. When he's paid for his food and his share of the bills, 
We can have whatever's left back. Pocket money? At my age, and how much is that going to be? Nothing. It's a hard life. Go and have a pint. But whatever you do, don't mention it to your dad. Thanks, Mum. <sighs> What's up with you today? You get worms. How do you mean? You're kind of a bit manic with the press ups, aren't you? <sighs> yeah, well, you mate. Saw my wife in the pub last night, and it's done me head in a bit. That's all. Why? I don't know. Just don't like the idea of her going to places where she can cop off, that's all. Don't let it get to you. If she wants to cop off with other people, then she will. It makes no difference whether you're in here or not. What, so it doesn't bother you? The thought of your bed out there while you're locked up in here? I wouldn't blame her if she did cop off with somebody else. I know if things were the other way around, I wouldn't be sitting at home every night twiddling my thumbs. What, so you wouldn't mind her sleeping with someone else? Of course I'd mind, but I know I'd have to be realistic about it. If she sleeps with other people, I'd have to appreciate it's for sex and nothing else. If I think about it that way, then I can handle it. I know she loves me. I know she'll be waiting for me when I get out. But I can't expect her to lead the life of a nun in the meantime. Yeah, what if I thought Jackie was carrying on with someone else? That'd be it. There'd be nothing down for her or the fella. Hey, come on, cool her. I just can't bear the thought of her being with someone else. Oh, God! I just want to get out of here. I'd escape if I could. You're only in for nine months. I'm telling you, man. There's only one way of escaping this place. Smack, you mean? Why not? Be sitting here tearing your hair out. I'm going to have a hit. You're welcome to join me. Uh, no. Why not? It's because of that stuff that I'm in here and Jackie's out there. Yeah, at least this stuff will help you forget what she might be getting up to. <sighs> Go on and take it. You know it makes sense. London's burning next on ITV. Here on 4 in a moment, Dorset's blooming as the Garden Club team get dug in in Dorchester with an abundance of sweet peas and tips for low-maintenance gardens. That's after the break. Family and friends? Well, they're not my family and friends. I've never even heard of half of them. Well, they're going to be there at the christening and the due afterwards. It's our Josh's big day. And have you thought how you're going to fit this lot into the flat? Oh, we're not. Hey. I've been looking at places to hire, haven't I? Hotels and that. Posh ones. Oh, great. And I suppose that means Muggins here has got a foot to build, does it? It's going to be like the feeding of the 5,000. I bet it still works out cheaper than a wedding, though. Point taken. I'll leave the arrangements to you then, shall I? What I'd like to hear. Have you, uh, have you thought any more as to who might be the godparents? No, not really. No, but you do agree that it's going to have to be someone that we both know and trust. Well, yeah. And someone who's dead close to our Josh Lane. Yes, Poto. Well, that's it then, isn't it? It's got to be our Mike. Your Mike? Yeah, well, 
He couldn't be any closer to this little fella, could he? Who? Come here, son. What do you mean? Come on, Bev, you know what I mean, making the baby. What about them? Stop playing silly beggars, love. You are? Everybody knows, don't they? Knows what? Mike uh... and Josh. That Michael helped deliver my son. Your son? Well, our son. Well, he's almost part of our Michael, isn't he? Hey? Say that again. So, what about him for Godfather, then, eh? After everything we've gone through. After all that's been said. Your TD still thinks he might be the father. Well, what better way to bury the hatchet? Prove to everybody that Josh is mine. What do you say, eh, love? Er, uh, I've just remembered. I think Holly might have asked me Uncle Teddy. Uncle Teddy? Who's he when he's at home? My favourite uncle. You must have heard me talking about him. No. And what's more, he wouldn't know our Josh from Adam, would he? So unless you can come up with a better alternative, it looks like this little fella here is going to have our Michael as his godfather. Hiya. Hiya, love. Oh, be an angel. Put the kettle on, eh? I'm parched. Yeah, sure. Mm. What's all this tonight, of? Mum and Dad bought some new gear. I didn't know it was his birthday. Well, we just thought our Lee could do with some new clothes. You've been running around in the same stuff since you came home, haven't you, love? Yeah. I've well, got some new trainees as well. Boss, well, aren't they? They custom mint them. Hey, love. Why don't you take all your stuff upstairs and try it on? Let our Carl see it, eh? Yeah, sound. Mm. What's got into you? Nothing. Just wondering what he's done to deserve all this new clobber. He hasn't done anything, and he doesn't have to. Cos me and your dad are just made up to have him home. That's a good enough reason to treat him, isn't it? All right, so the next time I need some new clothes, I'll just go and do a bit of joy, why don't I? Don't you ever use that word again in this house, do you hear me? Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. And anyway, you do all right out of me and your dad. I'll see you, maybe. Oh! So this is what it's all about. Your new trousers. Sixty quid they cost me. And you've gone and put them in the bin? They're ruined, aren't they? I can't wear them like that. Look, they're only torn in one place. You can't just throw them out. I don't want them, Mum. Oh, come on, Carl. I know you and your dad fell out over these, but don't do it out of spice, eh, love? Listen, why don't we take them next door? Mandy Jordash is supposed to be a dab hand with a needle and thread. They won't look right, Mum. They'll look naff. <sighs> well, just give it a go, eh, for me. And for the sake of keeping the peace in this place. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I don't want my son having some student as his godparent. Ah, 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 ex-student, if you don't mind, now a graduate. He hasn't got a job, though, has he? I mean, what kind of an example is that to set to our Josh? Beverly, Michael is a Bachelor of Arts. He's not just going to take up any old job, now, is he? And besides his family, he is the obvious choice. Well, if it's just a case of him being family, why don't you ask your Jackie to be a godparent instead? No, not our Jackie. She's just a kid. No way. She's a fully grown woman. Oh, well, I'm glad you think so as well. Yeah. It's nothing. It's just that I'm the only one round here that still believes in the age of innocence. What are you going on about? Well, Dee Dee tells me our Jackie's been knocking on with a Carl Banks. So? He's a married man, for God's sake. Well, he's split up from his wife, hasn't he? Besides, you're a married man, I'm knocking around with you. That's different, isn't he? And he's... Well, he's more experienced than our Jackie. And they've been... Well, you know, they've... They've been going out together. Oh. You're Jackie and Carl Banks. Johnny. Yeah, they're just a kid, no. Ron, she's 18 years old. It's still too young in my book. I don't know, maybe if I'd have been around a bit more for her, been there for her to talk to. Hey, wouldn't have made any difference. Once you've made up your mind that it's the right fella, nothing's going to stop you. And 18 isn't young these days. Really? Well, I was 14 when I lost my cherry. You what? Yeah, some lad I went to school with. 
funnily enough, as Mum owned a sweet shop, she was downstairs saying... Yeah, 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 all right, all right. I can do it without the blow-by-blow. Blow. I can't thank you very much. Oh, we're jealous, are you? No, I'm not. Don't be soft. It's... Well, I just think girls these days ought to be more careful. Think about it a bit more. Maybe I should have a chat with our Jackie, you know, father to daughter, like. Mr. Jones? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right, love. So, uh, how are things, then? Fine, I'm just on my way into town. All right, great. <laughs> so, any problems? What, like? Oh, you know. No. Nothing you want to, um, talk to me about, like? I don't think so. Why should there be? No, no, just checking you're all right. <laughs> I'm your dad, aren't I? Yeah, thanks, Dad. Things are going as well. I just dropped in to give you this. Oh, what is it? Um, it's for you and mum's wedding anniversary. <laughs> 22 years this week, eh, Dad? Yeah, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Thanks a lot, love. Nice thought, that, isn't it, Bev? Great. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah. All right, love, ta-da. Nice one, Ron. Very impressive. Your mic turns out like you, some godfather he's gonna be. Well, they're lovely trousers. Would you think you'd be able to do anything with them? Don't worry if you can't. Shut up, you. Yeah, I should be able to do something. Come on in, we'll have a look. Yeah. Oh, hi, yeah. Oh, nice. Still on the easy list to see. Yeah. Well, let's see if I've got some cotton to match. My sign box in the extension. I'll stay here, keep some back company. How's it back? Oh, comes and goes. Some days good, some days mm. bad, you know. And today's a bad day. Uh, worst luck. Oh. So what's happening with your wind around? <sighs> Nothing. Except the windows are getting very dirty. I'll be lucky to have any customers left. Haven't you got anyone filling in for you? No. I couldn't trust any of the window cleaners around here. They'd never get me down back. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, what if someone you knew filled in for you? <sighs> yeah, who? Me. You? You're not a window cleaner. Oh, it's a skillful occupation, you know. You need training and everything. Well, you go to college. All right, what if you were to train me? No, no, I couldn't do that. Well, if you try to lose your round. Oh, well, hang on. Do you really think you could make a go of it? Yeah, no sweat. You're not scared of heights, dogs, desperate housewives? I've done a parachute jump in the army. My mum and dad used to have an alley, and as for the housewives. All right, get on. Hurry up, will you? I'm almost done. Well, come on. That's it. That should get us through tonight, eh? <sighs> so what are you going to do with that one? Stash it. Where? Not here, that's where. How come? Because the screws are always turning the cells over. I've got my own little hidey hole for this lot where no one will find it. Come on, we'll be late for work. Seeing as I'm talking to Rachel Jordas's agent. Uh, personal manager, if you don't mind. Uh, sorry, my mistake. So what do you reckon the chances are if you persuade me to come have a trial for the footy team? Don't know if she wants to play for your team anymore. Not after the way you've treated her. Very shabby. She's very hurt, you know. All right, all right. Well, if I'm willing to bury the hatchet... I'll see what I can do, but I'm not promising anything. You've hurt her professional pride. All right, Mick. All right, Quasi, how's it going? Ah, oh, don't start me. It's not funny, you know. I've been in bulk with this since worse today. I'm sorry, mate. What can I get you? Uh, well, you don't do favours, do you? Because I need one. What well, if I can help, like? Well, Terry's getting out of Aussie today, and my well, buddy's giving me the keys to his flat, you know, so we could stay there. All right. Well, uh, I was supposed to be meeting them down there, but I don't know what to expect, you know, with everything that's happened. I uh, don't blame you. Well, stranger explosion, why? Yeah. Well, um, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind coming down there with me. Oh, what down there, see? Yeah, I know you're busy and everything, but, well, I couldn't face it on me only. You and Terry were good mates, weren't you? Yeah, we were once, then, but... Oh, I'd appreciate it. What are you still what about this place? Well, we'll only be an hour. <sighs> well, all right, then. Sometimes it's just for an hour. I will, then. Ah, oh, it's been dead this hour, anyway. Give us five minutes, will you? All right, mate, thanks. Hiya. Oh, hi. Do you need a hand with that? No, I'm fine, fine. Oh. Here, I'll get them. 
Uh, thanks. I've been clearing out some cupboards. I wanted to catch the bin men. Won the pools then? Sorry? The cart's new, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Dead smart, isn't it? Mm, Max's pride and joy. He's hardly driven it yet. Think he's frightened of scratching it. So I'm trying not to get too close. So. Don't worry, I won't. Thanks for the hand. All right. Are you waiting for me? All right. No, I was just hoping your next door neighbour shift some rubbish. Pillar of the community, you know. Oh, was that race? Just been into town. Bought some new gear. Oh, why? Anything interesting? Just the top. I'll show you that later, eh? I'll wait it for you. Why? What's happening later? Well, all my human mum are out, so I've got the house to meet her. Eh, uh, we can have a nice little cosy night in, just the two of us, eh? I look forward to it. You can get a video, so I'll watch some telly. Yeah, great. See you later, then. See ya. Hiya. Hey! Do you think you're doing, madam? Sorry? Look at that great big bin bag around. I'm just getting rid of some old stuff. Not in your condition, you know. <laughs> but, but nothing. I'm the clean around here, and you're due in two weeks. Good, and I thought Max was the first but. You ain't seen nothing yet. So inside, madam, and get your feet up. at this. Hey, you've only just started playing. A bit more practice, be in the doubles. There you are. It's better. It's more than practice I need. It's a new arm. <sighs> you sure you want me in the team? Of course. Look, and anyway, it's only for fun, isn't it? No. It's a laugh like. It could be that all right. Most of us are hopeless. We're going to get hammered. Hey, don't you worry. I've managed to get us a ringer. A what? One of the girls from work, Risa, she's brill. Played the Merseyside, you know. She wants to turn pro, and she's good enough. You're joking. Hey, maybe we'll have a chance. Yeah, let's hope so, eh? But either way, it'll be a laugh. We could do with one of them, eh? Oh, yeah, especially with the explosions going off across the clothes. Yeah. You know, we got the knockback from the insurance this morning for our damage. Eddie went up the wall. Really? Yeah. Apparently, we're not covered. But well, it's like they say, and it was caused by these religious nutters. At least they can't say it was an act of God. <laughs> No one really knows what it was. Yeah, my lady intends to have a right go at them. He spent a fortune replacing them windows. Hiya. Oh, hiya, love. Uh, listen, I'll get back. Uh, ah. Get on with your trousers. I'll see you later. Yeah, ta love. Oh, and thanks. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll give us a go. You're looking pleased with yourself. Just got myself lined up with some work. Oh, great. Didn't know you'd be in the job centre. I haven't. It's with Simbad next door. You know why his back's knackered? Doing what? His wind around. Wind cleaning you? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, it's not exactly a job with prospects, is it? I know, but it's only temporary and I'm skint. I need the money, remember? And if it keeps me dad off me back then... Bullseye. What are you doing now? This wallpaper's annoying me. I mean, it should have been done months ago. Look at it. It's half and half. You're certainly not going to start it. Sit down. I'll put the kettle on. I don't want to sit down. I certainly don't want to drink any more tea. I can't stop going to the loo as it is. I'm sorry. I just don't think you should be overdoing things. You're right. I'm just on edge. I can't keep still. I was the same, you know. It's your hormones all over the place. I just feel so uncomfortable, you know. And I've got all this energy. I'm supposed to sit here like some great dumpling. At least you can sit down. I had terrible piles. I had to use a rubber ring. <laughs> God. Awful. I'll have to inflate the inner tube from the spare tire of the mower before me. I must look the right sight. <laughs> I don't think Max would give me the spare from his new car. Listen, if you want to use up some of that energy of yours, why don't you do Josh's bottle for me? Might as well get some practice in. You're going to need it. Yes, sir. Nick as well. All right, Tim. It's great to see you, mate. And you. 
I was just saying, Mickey's looking well, isn't he? Yeah, considering. Well, I wasn't too badly hurt. Simon took the brunt of the blast. How was he like? He's still hanging on there. He's a fighter. He's got God in his corner, and with my prayers, I'm sure he'll pull through. Well, let's hope so. I must say, I didn't expect this. You two here, like. Well, we're all mates together, aren't we? Sort of. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, I've got to give you these. What are they? The keys to Barry's flat. You what? What he said you could say there? We're him, the Antichrist. Well, Barry's not going to be there, like, he's on holiday, um, and then he's moving on to the close, it's being done for him. He'll be on your Todd. In the lair of Satan. <laughs> Come on, Terry, I live next door, there's nothing funny going on at Barry's, you know. And I was round there earlier, it's sound. The last person I want any help from is Barry, he tried to take our church from us. You mean his house on the close? It might be his house in name, but it was our church in the eyes of God. Are you saying Barry caused that explosion? It was the forces of evil, Mick. Barry, Satan. The one and the same. They want to take our church from us, but we won't be beaten, and I won't be staying in the devil's den. I see, well, then. If you're not going to Barry's, where are you going? I don't have to go anywhere. I'm staying here. You what? With Simon. I can't leave him. He needs me. And this. Good. Tops. I'm buzzing. Nice one, mate. Yeah. How the heck? Nah, I'm all right. Come on, don't spoil the party. This stuff's brilliant. I know you want it, it's written all over your face. Forget all our troubles, eh, man? Forget what's stuck in this place. It helped you last week, made you feel good, didn't it? I don't know. Come on, Jim. I don't want a party all on my own, you're my mate. Take it. Don't suppose one little let's gonna hurt me, is it? Right, that's the bathroom done. I'll get the washing out. Where's your man? Where's she going? Hey, what's she doing? It's perfect, isn't he? You are? And Josh. Beautiful. Too right he is. When he's not screaming the house down. <sighs> you don't know how lucky you are. Hey, what's up? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, Pat. It's the baby. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, uh, don't you be worrying yourself. Everything's gonna be fine. Everyone's like this, just before the birth. Uh, Up and down. Respecting the worst. Those bloody hormones again. Uh, oh, shush. Hey. That's better. <laughs> just you wait and see, eh? Your little baby is going to be just as beautiful and just as perfect as little Josh here. Oh, it's dead romantic, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. It's great us being together like this. It feels dead right. What time will your mum be back? Oh, I'm not for ages, yes. Listen, why don't I draw the curtains? What for? You know, well, we could go to your bedroom if you want. Well, he can now. Why not? I thought we were, you know. Go on out, we are. But it, it wouldn't feel right, you know, my mum's house. You don't mind, do you? No. I mean, you wouldn't. Hey, we can phone with a pizza after if you want. Yeah, sound. Great, this isn't it? Me and you. <coughs> aye, aye, mate. Better slow down, hadn't you? You what? You. Hammering it tonight, aren't you? I'm only just stopping, Jim. Yeah, well, it 
Take it easy, eh? Don't want to be overdoing it. Hey, I know what I'm doing, don't I? Do you want another go while there's still a bit left? Nah, I'm sound, mate. Get me a down. Suit yourself. But if you change your mind, you know where I am. Cheeky little chap, isn't he? Yeah. Nearly as handsome as his dad, eh? Trisha, what's wrong? I'm frightened, Max. Well, what's happened? Is it Thomas? No, no, Thomas is fine. Well, what is it? I can't stop thinking about the baby. What it's going to be like. Oh, Patricia. I mean, it's not going to be like Thomas and other babies, is it? It's going to be Downs. Why couldn't we have a normal baby like everyone else, Max? Is it so bloody unfair? I know. But this little person in here <laughs> is gonna need us. And we'll be here for it. To love and to care for it, just like we did Thomas. Now, we've got to be strong. I don't know if I can be. Look, we decided we'd be as positive about this as we could. We've been kidding ourselves. We've been avoiding it. We've come this far. Look, I know we can do it. I, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but together... What if we can't, Max? What if we can't love our own baby? What then? to get up. Ah, another exciting day lies ahead. Don't come out, mate. Don? Oh, God almighty. Hey, Terry. I've started back at work already, have you? Uh, no, not for a while yet. Just keeping the relief manager up to date on Simon. Oh, right. Good. So, how is he? The same. I've been up all night with him. <sighs> he must be knackered, mate. Oh, I've got to be there for him. You can't carry on like that, though. You've been seriously ill yourself. You should be taking it easy. I'm all right. All right. When was the last time you had a good night's kiffy? Eh? I don't know. Come in, Terry. You're not going to be much use to Simon if you're exhausted, are you? Ah, but I can't leave him on his own. A couple of hours isn't going to hurt, is it? Listen, why don't you get your head down, 
get a shower, get something to eat. I suppose I could do with a kit. I am a bit knackered. Listen, um, somebody left me the keys to Barry's place. You could let yourself in. I've already told you I'm not staying there. Oh, come on, Tez. We're mates, aren't we? Of course we are. And you trust me, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, then believe me, there's nothing funny going on at Barry's place. It's just a normal flat, just like my place. But Barry's evil. <laughs> He's on holiday. He's miles away from here, so he can't hear you. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Do the devil's work. <laughs> don't be soft. Well, I suppose I've got nowhere else to go. You'll be sound there, mate, I promise. We'll be neighbours again, won't we? Yeah, I suppose so. And with God to protect me, what could go wrong, eh? Yeah. Look, come on. I'll get you the keys. And, hey, I'll even treat you to a pizza. Hey, it looks like my mum's having a great time down under. Well, you'll have to write back to her. Yeah, I will. Yeah, send some photos. Yeah, that's it with my Uncle Jake. Oh, she was really happy. Mm. Look at those blue skies. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'm made up for her, you know. All right. All right, mate. Hello, love. You ready for action? Rearing to go. That's what I like to hear. A keen and willing apprentice. Apprentice? Yeah, I'm about to divulge the ancient secrets of the window cleaner's art to young Carly. You what? He's going to show me how to use a chamois. Hey, there's more to it than that, you know. Yeah, Carl's going to fill in for me while my back's knackered. You know, keep some of my customers sweet. Oh, right, that's a good idea. Hiya. Hello. You looking forward to tonight? Well, I was until two minutes ago. Why, what's up? <sighs> my mate Reese has just been on the phone. Some divvy stuck his car door on her hand. A throwing hand. Oh, no. Who's Rita? Our star player for tonight. Got us a match lined up. She's played for Merseyside, you know. Well, you'll be able to take somebody up from somewhere, won't you? I mean, you're only chucking a few darts. Hey, you, clever clogs. If it's that easy, why don't you stick a dress on and come and give us an ounce? Hey, I think I'll give it a miss, thanks, Mum. Eh, uh, I don't know. I might suit you, that, mate. Up to the hockey. Carla Banks. <laughs> Two, one Alcatraz, done to a turn, and on the house. Dad, why can't I have any trainees? Hey, just hang on a minute, son. Cheers, Mech, I'm starving. Yeah, well, you need your strength, don't you? Build your strength up again. Yeah, you're right there. I've got to be strong for all the praying I'm doing. I've got to keep a vigil at Simon's bedside. Vigil? Like in front of the beds? I'll explain later, son. Brain's my favourite. Kids, eh? Yeah, well, uh, I'll go and get my head down. Cheers, Mech. Great to see you, mate. Hi. Yeah. What did he want? I seen to what do you think? I don't think you should be encouraging him, Mick. I mean, not with the kids around. I can't stop him buying pizzas, can I? Yeah, but he's obviously not well. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't lock him up. Mario, can you ask me, Dad, if I can have new trainers? I've already told you, haven't I? What's all this about? Our Leo wants a new pair of trainers because that Lee Banks has got a pair. You should see them, they cracker. Yeah, probably cost a fortune, they know. Well, you could do with a new pair, Mick. I mean... These are a bit tatty, aren't they? All right, point taken. But there's no way I'm forking out over £60 for a pair of trainees. You have to sell for something cheaper, son. But everybody be skitting me. No, they won't. They will. They'll all be skitting me. Better off just keeping these. Great. Shall I go after him? No, leave him. He's got to learn. Well, there's no way I can afford to shell out just because one of his mates gets something new. I suppose not. See, the problem is, I think that Lee Banks man that have been spoiling him. All right, Rosie, what can I do for you? Well, it's uh, your Marianne I've come to see, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How's your eye-hand coordination? Excuse me? Are you any good at throwing darts? Darts? I'm completely useless. Great. You're just the woman we're looking for. Uh, hold on a minute. For me ladies' darts match for tonight. Oh, don't say no. I'm desperate. Sorry, I've um, got a late meeting I can't get out of. Another time, maybe? Ah, well, we have to try. Back to the drawing board, then. See ya. See ya, Rosie. Have you seen tonight you never said anything? That's because there isn't one. Hey? Well, darts. With that lot.
Hiya. Hi, love. Hiya. Um, it's Ron around. Still the cash and carry. Oh, I want to remind him he's babysitting for us tonight. You know, I'll wear a dart. Oh, you might not need to bother. Why? What's wrong? Struggling for a team or a player shows. You don't know anyone, do you? Only our limb, but she's in Pontons with the kids. Oh, well, I don't know who else to ask. What about Dee Dee? Have you tried her? Well, there, Jackie said she's away for a few days. She's staying at her cousin's. Oh, I was really looking forward to this. So was I. We had a good laugh last time. Mm. And I've staked my reputation on us getting a team house. Must be someone we can drag in. Yeah, but who? <laughs> Afternoon, ladies. Pockets, Corker. supposed to be playing bridge tonight. That's boring. This'll be a laugh, a night out with the girls. Yeah, leave the fellas at home, eh? So it's all ladies. Too right. I mean, don't you remember last time, the knicker party? We didn't need the fellas to have a laugh then, did we? <laughs> I'll second that. I must say, it does sound rather appealing. Oh, of course it does. Oh, and I'd be ever so grateful. Look, we've got to be there in 20 minutes. Oh, come on. Well, just let me go next door and make a phone call, see if I can cancel my bridge. Nice one, Jean. Thanks, love. You won't regret it. You might. You haven't seen me play yet. I'll see you lot later. Tra. Tra, love. Tra. Well, girls, only one thing left to say. 180. <laughs> I'll see you down there. Well, how am I doing so far? Well, oh, let's put a bit more on elbow grease, eh? More? My arm feels like it's gonna drop off. Huh? And your water looks like it could do with changing. I've only just changed it. Listen, mate, tricks of the trade. The more often you change your water, the more chance you've got of getting a cup of tea. All oh, right. So do you ever get off with anything else, like? Oh, I get off with chocolate biscuits sometimes. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, is it true what you hear about these lonely housewives and that? Them throwing themselves at you? I mean, you must have had a few offers in your time. Well, uh, it's been a few, like. Oh, I? Well, I've had to knock them back, haven't I? I mean, I'm a professional. I'm here to clean the windows. I've got me reputation to think of. What? Oh, yeah. Come on, now. Yeah, I've got my reputation to think of. Hey, there'll be none of that on my rounds. I don't want you upsetting any of my customers. Sure, as long as they can resist me. <sighs> you all right? Sorry, Jack. Hey, can I use your toilet? I'm bursting. Yeah, sure. What was that for? Nothing. It's just nice to see you. So, how's it going? It's easy. Although, if you listen to Simbad, you think you needed a degree to clean windows. Uh, maybe you should have a word, see if I'll give our mic a job. Listen, um, my mum's gone to stay at her cousin's, so I've got the house to myself again. Do you want to come over tonight? Um. We can sit in again and watch some telly. It was dead good last night, wasn't it? Yeah, great. I'll see you about eight then. I'd better go. I've got something under the grill. Dra. See ya. Getting on well with your customers, I see. Hi, Mum. Yeah, just speaking to Jackie. On your way to your darts match? Yeah. She seems very keen. Sorry? Jackie. All right. She is. And what about you? I don't know. I mean, it's all a million miles an hour. She's starting to get a bit heavy. Serious. And you're not? I've just come out of one relationship. The last thing I need is another one. Well, don't you think it's about time you told Jackie that? No sign of the opposition. Doesn't look as if they've arrived yet. Well, I've heard who they're up against. We frighten them off already. Who exactly is it we're playing? Well, I'm not sure. We made it work. Arranged it all. She's on the committee of one of the local leagues. Okay. We're playing a league. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll walk it. That's the spirit. So we're playing. Are they any good, sis? Good, isn't it? How do you think they got the name? The Bull Terriers. <laughs> <laughs> Has he 
still up there sulking? Yep, poor kid. Ah, don't worry about it. He'll get over it. I was just saying when I was his age, I'd see one of my mates with something new and I'd be right into my mum hassling her, even though I knew she was skint. Well, if it's just a case of the money, why don't I help out? Oh, I ain't, no way. I don't mind, mate. Honest. Well, I know you don't, and thanks. You see, it's not just about the money. Well, what is it about, then? Well, it's about our Leo learning that he can't have his own way all the time. If I give in to him on this, how long before it's something else? Then our gem will start. Yeah, well, but they'd be from me, not you. Ah, but then they'd see you as a soft touch to be pestering you. And anyhow, you shouldn't have to buy their affections. Ah, you leave it to me. I'll nip into town tomorrow, get him a cheaper pair of trainers. It'll be a surprise for him, he'll be made up. I suppose so. I'm gonna go and get the tea on. Right, Mick, any chance? Yeah, show me. Yeah, hey, I thought you were out of commission. I am. Have you met me new apprentice? You're working for him? Well, sort of. Yeah, well, the cow's looking after me now until my back gets better. I'm showing him a few tricks of the trade, you know. Not that there's many to show. Hey, it's early days yet, you know. You've still got a lot to learn. Can you show me how to wash windows? What else is there? Oh, the arrogance of youth, eh, Mick? Well, he's got a point there, Sin. I mean, is there anything else? Well, of course there is. But what, Lee? <sighs> All right. Bring the bucket outside. Listen, don't put me back out doing this, okay? Are you watching? Here we go. This will kill you. Oh, yeah. Harry crack his grip. There you go. Dry as a bone. <laughs> How'd you do that? Well, it's a gift. And many years of practice. It's an art passed down through the many years of the noble profession. Yeah, let's have a go. Hey! I think you're playing that? Sorry, mate. All right, it was an accident. Yeah, all right. I'm on Terry. He said he was sorry. We're off, mate. Down the Aussie to play with Simon. What's he on? Don't ask. He's a lost cause. These girls certainly know what they're doing. You can say that again. You wiped the floor with me. 100 scored. <sighs> Come on, Mandy, you can do it. out of this place. Lambs to the slaughter. 14 scored. Unlucky. 61 required. Can't bear to watch. Yes. That's game. 3-1 to the Bull Terriers. I'm sorry, I never really got going. Never mind, dear. You did your best. Fight me next. Grab me drink, I think I'm gonna need it. It's all right, mate. I'm here now. I'm not gonna leave you. I'll be here till the end. God's with us as well. All right. Oh, hi, you made it then. Yeah, how are we getting on? Um, we're losing 3 1. Mo's won our only game. 60 oh, scores. I miss you playing away. Yeah, thank God. I got hammered. <sighs> got so ashamed. <laughs> Doing here. It's supposed to be a girls only night. It must be that cool. City's weird and it's confusing it. Well, put on some stockings and suspenders and you can have a game. You're desperate. Yeah, it's very funny. 65 required. 65 to win. Come on, you can do it. Double top for the game. <laughs> nice one. So who's up next? <laughs> I don't know whether to play with my glasses on or not. It had scolded the cloud.
guys. I thought you were coming over at eight. All right, yeah, I was going to, but I'm not feeling too clever. Oh, why? What's wrong with it? I don't know. It feels like some sort of bug or something. I think it's with being outside on the go all day or something. Yeah, well, I'll come in and make hot drink for you. No, you better not. You might catch it. Oh, so I can't even sit with you? Best not, eh? Well, Lee had the same thing. I must have got it off him. It must be contagious. So, when will I see it again? I don't know. When I'm better, I suppose. Well, you look after yourself, eh? Make a drink and get off to bed. Yeah, I will. I'll be thinking of you. Take care. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Bust. Again. Lost. I've been on double one for ages. And we're gonna be here till Christmas at this rate. This Christmas or next Christmas. <laughs> Better luck next time. Faust. There's a surprise. Hold these for me, will you, Mandy? I'm not be able to see. That's the general idea. I might be in with the chance. Oh, my God. It'd be like watching Mr McGill. You're all right, Jean. You're facing the right way. Just a few feet to the left, love. <laughs> Up a bit. Down a bit. Fire. Double one. Yes, that's the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the crafty Crosby, eh? Hey? That's it, mate. Keep fighting. Come on. We'll beat this together. You're not gonna die. No more coarse jokes. Who me? I wouldn't dream of it. But go easy on that margarine. Right? Ale and girdles don't mix. Yeah, very funny. I thought you might have asked David along for a bit of support. Oh, I don't think he'd be very interested. Not at all. He's good between them. Darts, he's not keen on. You what? Oh, I'm sure you'll all hear sooner or later. David and I are leading separate lives at the moment. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, Jean. I didn't mean to pry. No, of course not. It's important as me pretending. Hang on. So been coming out of yours, the savvy? Oh, we're still sharing the same house. Got to keep up appearances, haven't we? Oh, come on, let's not spoil the fun. I'll go and get us some more crisps and nuts, shall I? Um, I'll give you a hand. And what's happened there, then? Yeah, he was looking very dapper this afternoon, being done up to the lines he was. I think he was going somewhere special. Another woman, no doubt. Oh, gee. At least that's one thing I don't have to worry about with Jimmy stuck away where he is. Yeah, he's not going to come to any harm in there, is he? And it's good to see you out enjoying yourself. Having a bit of fun for a change. I would have asked your pat along, only I thought it'd be a bit smoky for him. Um, you want a healthy baby, don't we? Quite. She would have loved it in here, though. And, uh, I think she needs a bit of cheering up. Do you? Well, I was round at hers yesterday and she seemed a bit down, you know, about the baby. But I told her not to worry, I was the same. And the baby going to be fine. Hey, what do you reckon? Should we do this again sometime? Yeah, Daffa. Well, I've certainly enjoyed myself. Yeah, count me in. Good, because I've just signed us up to play in the league. So, here's to the Brookside Bells. The what? Us, the Brookside Bells. Well, I have to give us a name. The Brookside Bells. <laughs> the Brookside <laughs> Bells. <laughs> Hiya. You all right? Hey. I don't know why I get upset over you now. Who, fellas? Understand. One thing I do understand, and that's men. No, it's not David. Oh, right. What is it then? It, it's. Hey, come on, G. 
Jean, what's the matter? It's all this talk about bouncing babies. I'm just supposed to smile so there's nothing wrong. What is it? Well, how would you feel if it was Josh? What? Well, how would you feel if your baby wasn't perfect? And it's grandma, for God's sake. What am I supposed to feel? I don't understand. Patricia's a baby. It's Down syndrome. Oh, my God. It's my grandchild. My daughter's child. Gee, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I've got no one else to talk to. I don't want to worry Patricia and Max. David won't give me the time of day. Hey. You can always talk to me. I'm so frightened for the Bev. For Patricia and Max and the baby. We none of us know what the future might hold. I just hope we're all strong enough to go. Yeah, you're up bright and early. Oh, I'm enough for Ron while he's down the cash and caddy. What are you doing up this hour? I thought you were supposed to be resting your back. Yeah, well, I thought I'd better check on Rasputin, the mad monk. You may tell him. What's up with him now? Yeah, well, he went down the Aussie yesterday to check on that Simon, and he hasn't been seen since. I reckon that saintly Simon could be on the way out. Go. Cool. Yeah, I thought I'd better get down there. Just check everything's all right, you know. Well, if Terry's been up there all night, I'm sure he'd be glad to see you. Yeah, you're right. See if I can go and cheer him up, eh? All right, then. Sit down, yeah. Sure. Beth? Yeah? Oh, you're up. I've been up for ages. I set my alarm for seven so I could get an early start. All right, you're going out somewhere later. You're joking, aren't you, with all this lot to do? You, uh... You don't think you're overdoing it, do you? What do you mean? Well, the work. I don't remember you doing this much before, and you are only taking one exam this time. Yeah, but I've got to pass this time, otherwise I'm off the course. I know, but you can do too much, can't you? I mean, you need to take some time off, you know, to relax. You're not asking me to join your dance team, are you? <laughs> no. I just think you should ease off a bit. Mum, well, I can relax when I know I've passed. Until then, I'm afraid it's just me and these books. A magnificent picture of Digger on the front. What do you think of it, then? Mm. He likes it. Who's it for? Look at the state of this place. Know, let's find out. What are you two? It's what's up? Sarah Foster. It looks like a bomb, is it? That's what's up. And she says, please, can we wish her little brother Henry a very happy seventh birthday? Happy oh, birthday. I'm Henry. Who's listening to that? And yeah, we can listen to it when you've tidied this say, place up. Leo, turn that telly, telly off. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad, nothing. Now, listen, I want this place sorted by the time me and Maria get back from town. You're going into town? We come with you. You two are going to be busy here, aren't you? But I'm on holiday. Oh, well, you won't be coming the fussy this afternoon, then, will you? Oh, Dad, I'm your biggest supporter. And it's your first game of the season. All right, if you both want to be there, then you both better go and get changed and get this mess cleaned up. Now, go ahead, shift. <laughs> what a fairy. <laughs> Look at this. I'll leave all that. Let them sort it. We can't go on living like this, Mick. How are we supposed to unwind when we're surrounded by all this and there's a gang of kids traipsing in and out all the time? 
Yeah, I know. This place is fast becoming a youth club, isn't it? <laughs> well, how much longer is Gary going to be here? Oh, until Carol gets out there, I suppose. Yeah, and how long is that going to be? Well, say, it's me, but I did promise her. Yeah, well, you didn't think it was going to be permanent, did you? I know that, but I thought she'd be out by now. And anyway, until she has me stuck with Gary, you know, I can't go back on my word. And I can't exactly throw him out onto the street, can I? No, I suppose not. Look, leave all that and let's get into town. Let's get as far away from this mess as we can. Come on, leave it to them. <laughs> Sorry, Mandy. That's OK. Oh, I was miles away. It's from Jimmy. Really? Yeah, he'd uh, come this morning. It's a visiting order. He wants me to go in and see him this afternoon. Oh, well, that's good news, isn't it? Is it? Well, I thought... Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm just naturally suspicious when it comes to my Jimmy. Oh, I see. Well, I've seen him for three months, you know, and now this, out the blue. I just wonder what he's after. Uh, right, that's the... Uh, 90 and 60. No, sorry, that's 95 and 60. It's 155. Morning, ladies. Hiya. Hi. Get working, all right? Oh, uh, yes, thanks. Is she coming? It's even beginning to sound like simple. You fella better watch out, so he'll be out of a job. That's the right money, love. Thanks a lot. OK, thanks. And uh, good luck for later, eh? Oh, thanks, Mandy. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye. Shalom. All right. Now Simbad's back. Oh, much the same, I think. Well, tell him to take it easy, eh? There's no point in rushing back. I've got things covered here. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear it. See ya. Hi, Hi. All right, mate. All right, mate. How's the job going? Sound? Get my shirt off, get a bit of a bronzy, drink as much tea as I can, it's a doddle. And get blimped by all the women while I'm at it. That's all right for some, eh? Take it, nothing's happening for you on the job front, then. Nope. It's dead. Listen, I'm off around one of those uh, new estates this time. You should be good for a couple of tips, like, so I could stretch to a couple of pints if you fancy it later. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Great. See you later, then. Yeah, so I not work too hard now. When Jesus noticed... When Jesus noticed the crowd around him, he ordered the decent... What? Oh, Same bad. All right. What are you doing here? Oh, I've come to see how you are, you know. Oh, me. It's great. Yeah, of course. How's him? Um... He's still fighting. He'll come back to us. I know he will. With God's help. Right. Well, that's good to hear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got your coffee? Thanks. Do you, uh, you want to step outside for a bit? Get a breather and that, you know? Uh, no, I want to stay here with him. Don't you think these new clothes are dead good? I've already said I like them, love. Maybe for something special, Lee. No, Mum Dad just treated me like it. Dead good of them, that, isn't it? Yes, very. How much did they spend on you, Lee? Rachel, I'm sure Lee's mum and dad wouldn't want us knowing their business. I bet it was loads, though. And everyone at school's always getting new stuff. Rachel, I've been through this with you a hundred times. You know the situation. Our Bess always buying new clothes. Yeah, well, that's different. Bess got a student grant. She can do what she likes with it. God, I can't wait till I leave school so I can get a job. I'm sick of us having no money. Rachel, I won't tell you again. What's up? Oh, I'll give you one guess. I only want some new clothes. What, so you can mess them up playing football? Oh, very funny. <laughs> are you two going to this football match, then? All right, all right. Well, no, I'm not wanted. Mixed team are playing today. Yeah, just a friendly. First game of the season. Well, I thought you weren't going to play for their team. Oh, no. We're just watching. Oh, that's nice. Give them a bit of support. I hope they get stuffed. I'm just going to go and laugh at them. Rachel! See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Nothing quite like some good old team spirit, is there? <sighs> can I get your coffee? No, I'm going to go into the shops and get a can. You mean you're actually taking a break from your work? Yeah, well, only for ten minutes. <laughs> I've not been that bad, have I? You've been shut away in your room like a recluse. Look, I know passing this exam is important to you, but I think you need to ease off, love. And wind a little. You are on your holidays. Mm, maybe I'm overdoing it a bit. I suppose I could take a couple of hours off. Mm, yeah, I'm sure you can. And I was thinking, um, it's your birthday next week. Maybe we can have a little do. What, with Rachel and Sinbad? Yeah. And I thought you might like to invite some of your friends, you know, from the university. Well, they've all gone home for the holidays. Oh, well... Well, maybe we can invite some of the neighbours. Mum, there's no need to make a fuss, you know. 
Yeah, of course there is. It's your birthday. And what about my work? Beth. Well, I suppose one night won't do any harm. OK, then. Great. I mean, it won't be much, but you leave everything to me. Hi there. God, you give me the fright of my life, then. Sorry. Well, that's all right. Uh, I knocked at the front, but there was no-one in, so I just started. Good for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just filling in for the usual bloke. You know, the little fat fella. I'm just helping him out. So you like helping people out? Yeah, it's all right. Do you think you could help me out? Yeah, if I can, like. I'm sure you can. You see, I went for a jog and blocked myself out, silly me. All oh, right, I see. You couldn't, could you? I'll just get me ladders. You're an angel. I'll be waiting here for you. Beth? Oh, hiya. Alright, how's it going? Not bad. Just been to get something to drink. Thirsty work in the rising all day. So you're uh, back at home again? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Things didn't quite work out between me and Chris. Oh, well, sorry. It's alright. I mean, you've got your reset as well. I must be a bit of a pain. Well, having my head permanently stuck in a book isn't exactly my idea of fun. I was looking forward to dossing around Europe with Chris, but, well, you know. Yeah, well, dossing around the place isn't all it's cracked up to be. You soon get bored of it, believe me. Oh, sounds as if you aren't enjoying the summer holidays either. Yeah, well, it's not really a holiday for me now, is it? I mean, I've finished uni, I should be working. Well, you only left a couple of months ago. I know, yeah, but I should be getting my career off the ground, getting things moving. You've been applying for jobs, haven't you? I've been doing nothing else. You know what? Now I feel I don't even bother getting back to you. I mean, the price of a stamp and a phone call. I'm getting an interview, it's what I'm heard of. Well, there's a lot of competition around this time of year. Yeah, I know, but all I want is for someone to give me a chance. An interview, at least. I mean, I'm willing to work for nothing, just so long as I get a start, show them what I can do. Well, it's early days yet, you've got to give it a bit of time. Yeah, I don't know. But I can't help thinking that all the hard work over the past three years has been for nothing. Have you seen this? George Michael in Whitney Houston's box. <laughs> what are they like, eh? <laughs> well, at least they tried to tidy up. Hey, they're coming now. I'll go and get Leo's new trainers and be made up. Hiya. Thanks for tidying up. Did we do it all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was spot on. And seeing as how you've been such a good lad, you can have these. What are they? Open it and see. Hey, it looks like new trainees. Yes, thanks, Dad. Told you'd be made up. What sort are they? Oh, no. Not me, are they? I've never heard of them. Hey, they're dead popular, you know. All the kids are wearing them. Just what you need for running around in. Hey, and they've got a logo on. Yeah, great, Dad. So come on then, son, try them on. <laughs> Later, today, Dad. Hey, you want to make sure they fit. You want to wear them around the fuzzy later, won't you? <laughs> it's all right. Just wear me old ones. Hey, come on, son. I paid good money for them, you know. Don't want to wear them out. Why? What's wrong? Well, they look, they look dead, dead cheap, like plimmies or something. They are a bit sad, now. Oh, thanks, Gary. Now, you listen to me, son. Me and Marianne went all the way into town to get them. So you wear them while you're going out barefoot? Mick? Mick nothing. He's got to be too old. Too old for this carry-on. Have you been awake all night? I've been praying for Simon. He must be knackered. God keeps me going. Yeah, right. What's happening? I don't know. Simon? 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 Oh, God, Teddy's dying, isn't he? There you are. Thanks, this is really good of you. No sweat. So is there anything else you need helping with? I don't know, what do you have in mind? Well, you know, I can turn my hand to anything. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Look, I need to go out soon. But if you were to call back tomorrow... Same time. Why not? I'm sure I'll be able to find you something to uh, help me with. Well, all right, great. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Aren't you forgetting something? What? Your ladders. Yes. OK, 200. Happy 
everybody back. Everybody back. back. 200. Everybody back. back. Three sixty. Everybody back. The minty auntie, at least your dad's willing to spend money on you. My mum won't buy me anything. But she hadn't bothered. Once it appeared like Lee's. Yeah, the salmon. Your t-shirt's boss and all. It's all. I got them in the same shop. You should have a look. There's loads of dead good gear in there. Yeah, but I bet you it all cost a fortune. Me ma's skint. Join the club. All right, boys, keep your positions. I don't give them any room at the back, all right? Keep it nice and tight. All right, go ahead. Good luck. And enjoy yourselves. That all sounded very impressive. You're doing your Terry Venables impersonations, eh? Nah, more a King Kenny man myself. Who? Dal Gleish. Don't you know anything about footy? What? You're playing five at the back? Oh, yeah. Three markers, push the full backs off, give us extra width. It never works, that. What? It's going to make us rock solid in defence. I find it really difficult to... It's early days. Early days. There's only one against us. Come on, boys! Pick yourselves up! So you came? Looks like it. You all right? What do you think? Right, yeah. So? So what? What the bloody hell do you want, Jimmy? You what? Not a word from you since you've been in here. And now you suddenly want to see me? So what are you after? No, I'm not. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, come on, Jimmy. What is this? You in some kind of trouble? No, it's not my dad. I just wanted to talk to you, love. Missed you. Three months, Jimmy. And only now you're missing me. No. Think about your every minute of the day, Jack. Just dump your head in. So why didn't you send me a visiting order? Because... I didn't want you near this place. You've seen what it's like here. Look at it. This is full of crooks. <laughs> what did you expect? So why the change of mind? Something's happened. <laughs> Something terrible. What? What happened? Probably heard about it on the news. This fella, Don. Don McAteer. Died of a drugs overdose in here. Oh, yeah, I heard about it, all right. Do you know what I thought? I thought it might have been you. And then when I heard this fella's name, I'm not sure if I was relieved or not. Because I thought if it was you, it might be the best thing for both of us. Yeah, well, it really was me. It was. Have you been taking that crap again? Oh, listen, will you? This Don, he was my cellmate. Me that found him. He offered me some smack. The same smack that killed him. But I said no, because I'm clean. And I saw him. I saw him lying there. And I touched him. I touched him with my hands. Grey corpse. So close. Too close. I've seen what I can do with you. I've, I've smelt death. Could have been me, Jack. I'm sorry, love. That's why I needed to see you. 
because it's cracking me up and you're the only one I can talk to, love. You know that. Hey, I'll tell you. One good things come out of all this. Seeing him there like that. I'll tell you, love. I won't even look at another truck again. Because I'm clean, Jack. I'm clean. And I'm going to stay clean. What's going on in there? They're doing their best. They're trying to save them. Well, why doesn't someone tell us what's happening there? Oh, hey, just leave them to. I don't know. They're professionals. They know what they're doing. How is he? Is he going to make Can't it? Off. I'm sorry. Go ahead, someone, lad. Come on, boys, we've got to pick your men up. You're making it too easy for them. Stay tight on them. Come on, get a foot in. Do I not like that? We're all over the place, Mick. They're thrashing us. How many is that now, Dad? Too many. 16, isn't it, Rach? There's still 30 minutes left to play. What's the world record for a football score? I don't know. But it's going to be broken unless you get that defence sorted out. You need to pull one of your full-backs back and push one of your markers up into midfield. It's got to be worth a try, and it, Naz? Yeah. Murray! Murray! Push into midfield, lad. Thilo, Rocky! You sit back. Sit tight on your men. What's this, Johnson? Taking tips on football from a girl? <laughs> All right. Still off for that drink? Is he right, I am? Grab over these, will you? <laughs> Take it, you've had a good day, then. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do you want any tips? Yeah. And one very nice one in particular. Hey. The second house I did on the estate. Somehow, she came on to me. And you were, uh, you know? No. But I will be. I'm on a promise. I don't believe you. Well, I'm not going to knock it back, am I? She's well tasty. And what about our Jackie? What about her? I thought you were supposed to be seeing her. No, it's nothing like that. It's just casual, you know. Well, not as far as our Jackie's concerned, it isn't. So before you start putting it about elsewhere, you better put her straight, haven't you? Well played, boys. Nice one. Never mind. Unlucky. Always next I'll week, play. eh? 19 mil. Can't believe it. The same story every week. Last season with the under 12s. Last half hour was better, though, wasn't it? Yeah, thanks to our tactical genius, Rachel. All oh, right. You're gonna have to get her in the team, Mick. Marianne's right. We need someone with a footballer's brain on the pitch. Yeah, I suppose she does know her stuff. But I've asked her, haven't I? She turned us down. But only because she knew you weren't being sincere. Enjoy it. Yeah, sort of. Playing four at the back made a difference, didn't it? Even though it was too late. Yeah, nice one. Listen, um, we, well, me and Gaz, uh, wondering how you fixed, like. What for? Well, uh, do you fancy coming and playing with the lads? I don't know. Please, Rach, we could do with you. You'll have to ask my personal manager. Oh, come on, I'm not going. Lee, what do you reckon? We'll have to think about it. What do you want me to do? Get down on my knees and beg? Yeah? Yeah. So, are Lindsay and Carly all right, Annie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're fine, yeah. Great. How are you coping? You know, for money and that, like? Get that with a house of stick of furniture in their house. I had to buy things. Then there's all the bills you didn't pay. Yeah, then I'm sorry, love. Oh, no. It's just I'm getting behind with the rent. I, erm, um, I was thinking about going to see Barry. No. I've got to get the money somehow. Yeah, well, I don't want you scrounging it off Barry. I'll get the money. I'll? I've managed to save a few quid in here. They pay me for working in the kitchens. I'll get it, I promise you. I've heard your promises before, Jack. Jackie, just give us a bit of time, will you? I'll get the money for you. All oh, right, well, you better be quick. Do you want to come in?
I'm back, Terry. I'm back. Jesus, whips, son. Have you had an accident? Pardon? With the aftershave. All oh, right, is it a bit strong? Uh, overwhelming is the word. That all you want? Two chewies, yeah. Right, uh, 34, please. 32, 34. Thanks a lot. Hannay, keep up wind of it, eh? Hey, listen, is, uh, is all this an aid of our Jackie? Because, well, look, this thing between you and her. No, actually, I'm just on my way to work. See ya. All right. It's all this then? Off to do a few odd jobs, know what I mean? Not that woman. The one who... Listen, Mike, I'm doing her a favour. I tell you, she's begging for it. It get like that in the 30s. She was looking at me like she could eat me. And I'm very much hoping she will, all afternoon. See ya. Hey, what do you think of the jacket? Yeah, so... Can't blame these older women for fancying me, can you? See ya. Feel. It's my eyes. Any kind of light kills them. They're gonna take a long time to recover. From the blast? No, not that. The light. It was like my eyeballs were seared with fire when I saw him. In the centre of the light, I saw him. I saw God, Terry. And he spoke to me. Oh! Smells like a lady's changing room in here. Hey, Dad, when did you get these in? This morning, and the season sale down the cash and carry. Hey, listen, son, I'm glad you popped in while it's quiet, actually, because there's something I want to ask you. Hey, has that bounce I've been doing your windows properly? Yeah, they look all right to me. Well, I've just passed him trolling off down there in his designer gear. Well, what's he think he's playing at? You can't do your windows in club and club. And look at that. Oh, look, drips and smears. And look at them corners. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to get him back to do this again. Oh, it's not good enough. Are they all like that round here? God, that was tempting. What was? <laughs> well, I could feel it coming up. A gag about wonder bras. Good joke, but not very tactful. <laughs> Why is he changing sex? Oh, <laughs> that would be something. No, he's wearing the corsets on your head. What? Sinbad is? Yeah, for his back. Hey, but don't mention it, buddy, Michael. He's very <laughs> sensitive about it. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, you love. Um, can I have a kick off for the bus? Of course you can. Go on, help yourself. It's all right, Oh, I'll get another box. You haven't seen Carl, have you? Hey, you've just missed him. Listen, Jack, I don't know how serious this is between you and him. But... Oh, it's as serious as it can get. Here you go, love. One Kit Kat. Thanks, Dad. Got a dash him in late. See ya. Yeah, ta da now. Zap's about like a scalded fly, that one, doesn't she, eh? Hey, Dad, listen, you know this graduation present he promised me? Yeah, don't worry, I haven't forgotten. 
No, it's just I went into town before and I seen this brilliant guitar. No, honest, I promise it's on my list. It's just that I want to get this christening over and done with first. See how much money I've got left once Bev's finished buying robes and cakes and christening teeth. Yeah, only there's a sale on them. Actually, son, um, that's what I wanted to talk to you about this christening. Now, look, I've thought a lot about this and... Well, Bev and I are both like you to be Josh's godfather. What, you want me? Well, I can't think of anybody better. Well, wouldn't that be a bit... I mean... Are you serious? You want me to be the godfather? I'd be very proud. Yeah, yeah. Me too. God, you've got here. You're here, Mabel. I thought you'd be in uniform. It's CID, Mabel. You sent one of those plain clothes fellas. She's very upset. Two weeks in Bournemouth and back to this. No, I... I thought you lot worked in pairs. Ah, I suppose that's the cutbacks, eh? Come in, I'll show you the damage. Sergeant, is it? No, look, I'm sorry. I'm not the police. Well, we rang them 20 minutes ago. So where were you then? Carl. Carl Banks. I'm Stanley Waters. Yeah. Yeah. Y yeah, I came to see the lady of the house. Oh, hang on. Mabel, young fella here to see you. It's been a terrible shot to her, all this, you know. It took all her jewellery, all our savings. You've been burgled? Yeah, two wonderful weeks in Bournemouth. Mind you, Mabel did get a touch of food poison. Very delicate stomach. We get out the taxi and what do we find? Place has been stripped, top to bottom. Come in, Carl. No, don't touch anything. Oh, they want to dust all this to uh, get the fingerprints. Young man to see you, love. You don't by any remote chance happen to have a daughter, do you? No, just our David in Canada. Why? Nothing. I'm the window cleaner, by the way. Call around for the money. Yeah. Hey, if that bank's lad doesn't shape up soon, you know, I'm gonna start losing all my customers. I'm gonna end up swelling one of them one of these days. <laughs> and you know, I want to just get this thing finished for best birthday. Well, let's see. Hey, hey, I fancy one of them myself. 19, eh? I'll have to start lying about her age soon. Eh, uh, you don't look old enough to have a nine-year-old, <laughs> let alone 19. You're a rotten liar, but thanks anyway. <laughs> God, it's not very comfy, this, is it? It's like hugging a small steel battleship. Well, oh, thanks very much. No, I, I just fancy feeling a bit of flesh, that's all. Oh, well, that's a good idea. I didn't... I wasn't... All right, I... all right, OK, I was just joking. <sighs> Sorry. See? Footmark. That's where they got in. I reckon they must have had ladders. Ladders? No, it's obvious ladders. Someone would have seen. Oh, not at night, they wouldn't. Now, there's prints all through here and along the landing. Size nine, I'd say. When did you say you cleaned the windows? Last week sometime, or the week before, I forget the day. What happened to the little fat fella? Hurt his back. I'm just helping him out, like. Oh. Hey, you didn't happen to notice whether this window was on the latch, did you? No, nope, and everything was okay inside. Yeah, well, I reckon they got in here, mud from the flower bed all over his feet, then he went downstairs and let the others in. You all right, lad? Yeah, fine. Ah, oh, that'll be the police. Excuse us. Look, I'll come back when it's a bit more convenient. Hey, uh, Carl, um, I don't know how you fix, but uh, I'm going to need a hand to clear this lot up. I'd pay you. No, I won't want pay, and I'd be glad to. That's fine. I'll do anything you need. My pleasure. Oh, uh, yeah, all right, Mabel, look, I'm on my way. Get a move, lad. Finish, Come on, finish, finish, finish. Get your foot in, us. Nice one, good tackle. Use the ball. Come on, Curran. Get in there. Are you all right, Leo? Yeah? Well, oh, don't do that. You're ruining your new trainers. I hate them. Why don't you go and play with your friends, eh? Nobody's playing with me anymore. You think I'm a divvy for wearing these? Come on, Karen. Get in there. Come on, a bit more effort, boys. We want to do better than that on Wednesday. Hang on, what are you doing here? 
Well, Leo was a bit bored at home, so we dropped Gemma off dancing and came to see how you were doing. <sighs> Don't have to spend your week off watching this lot, you know. Well, I thought you might need some support. Well, we will do on Wednesday against Holy Trinity. They're going to slaughter us. Why are they that good? They don't need to be. Unless they would like to be too good for this lot. All right, boys, let's call it a day, eh? Go and get showered and get back here in ten minutes. Well, you know what the solution is, don't you? What? Give up? Give Rachel Jordash a chance. Oh, come on, you wear this. She's not interested. She's just messing me about. No, no, she is interested. She's just playing hard to get. Why don't you have a word with her manager? Lee Blanks? You're joking, aren't you? He's only 14. Now's your chance. He's over there. Leo, stop doing that, will you? He's been mooning about all morning. Yeah, he's after the sympathy vote. Take no notice. We ain't looking too sharp, were they? Oh, so you're the great football expert, are you? Don't have to be, do I? Even I can tell they're useless. I was just checking to see how bad they are, so I can report back to my client. Oh, yeah? Yeah, cos I reckon the more desperate you are, the more likely I am to get decent terms. No, Lee, no. Rule number one, never give away your tactics to the other side. Hey. So when's the match? Wednesday. Well, Rachel's prepared to turn out for you, if the deal's right. The what? Yeah, we've discussed it, me and my clients, and uh, what we want is 20% off pizzas and coke. What do you think? Offer oh, 10? 15. 10? 12 and a half. You're joking, aren't you? I'm not working out 12 and a half percent every time you want a pizza. 10. OK, 10. Done. She'll be there Wednesday. See ya. Good on Cheek. It needs a lesson or two from his dad on negotiating skills. I don't believe I did that. <laughs> Bargaining with a 14-year-old. Still, if it's less than 19 nil this time, it'll have been worth it. Did you hear me? Something terrible's happened. They've split. Told me that they were no good. This was kicking at the ground this morning, wasn't it? She's gonna go mad with me. What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what. What time does Gemma get back from dancing? One o'clock. Right. Well, we'll leave a message for your dad and Gemma, and then you and I will go into town and get you some new trainers, some better ones, and then we'll have a Big Mac. Yes, sound. Mabel wants all the clothes in here for washing. Right. It's very good of you to help us out like this, you know, Cal. Least I can do. And I'll know, be honest, there's no need for you to do anything at all. Hey, I bet you were a Boy Scout, weren't you, eh? Yeah. I don't know. You hear all these terrible stories in the papers about young people nowadays, and then blow me, somebody like you comes along. We're very grateful. <laughs> Mabel's making a cup of tea and some sandwiches. Do you take sugar? Yeah. We don't want you to go home hungry or empty-handed. Now, no silly arguments. You take it, take it. Yeah. One sugar or two. One. Just a one sugar, Mabel. You've hardly been out on that chair, have you? For ages. I knew that you were there. Even when I was unconscious, I knew you were there. It was you praying for me that pulled me back. Did you know that? I was dead. I know I was. I could feel myself floating out of my body. 
I was looking down on myself, lying there, and I thought, so that's it. That's how it ends. And then I was in this long, dark tunnel with a brilliant white light at the end of it. I was moving towards it, this blinding light. And at the end of it, I could see God's face and I could hear his voice. And the weird thing was, I could hear your voice as well, Terry, calling me back. And God said, listen to your friend's prayers, Simon. Go back. You've got one last mission to fulfill. One last great mission. I don't know what it is yet, but I will. Hey, Banksy. All right, Mike. How'd it go? Insatiable. Couldn't get enough. Looks like she had you in the spins, Raya. Not the only place she had me. She's a very imaginative lady. Look at me. I'm a dish rag. All right, keep your voice down, eh? Why are you listening? Hey, listen, if you ever want any tips, anytime, I'm always available. How's to keep the older woman happy? Ron, is Mike doing anything Wednesday night? We're having a sort of party for Beth's birthday. Nothing fancy. Oh, great, I'll tell him. Yeah, and you and Bev, of course, and, and Jackie. Oh, thanks, love. And, um, Dee Dee. <laughs> don't worry about Dee Dee, love. She's away. But we'll be there if we can get a babysitter. Oh, don't worry, you bring the little one along as well. Oh. He used to be dead good mates, didn't he, eh? Oh, Michael and your Beth. I used to wonder if... Well, <laughs> he's never really had a steady girlfriend now, Mike. About two weeks, that's his limit. Must admit, I did once sort of hope that... Well, she's a lovely girl, your Beth. Mm, well, you can't decide these things for them, Ron. No, but you can give them a hefty big nudge in the right direction, can't you, love? OK, what should we get for Gemma? What sweets does she like best? Fruit gums. OK. Hello, love. Hiya. Hiya, Leo. Hiya. Hey, love, will you mention this to Sinbad? It's about my new opening hours. I'm staying open till ten every night now as a new service to me customers. See how it goes. Hey, Mr Dixon, do you want to see me new trainees? Oh, new trainees, eh? Oh, very smart. So you're into all that grief now, are you, love? Yeah. We went through all this malarkey with our Jacqueline. Something wrong, mate. Hey, Nick. Hey, babe, I thought you were in town. Dad, I had a Big Mac for my dinner. Oh, lucky you, eh? Uh, two pints of milk, please, Ron. Right, you are. Are you, uh sure you can afford them, Mick? <laughs> 60p, I was a. Uh... Well, I just thought you might be a bit strapped for cash, you know, after spending out on them new trainees. What new trainees? Leo's new trainees. They're dead expensive, them, aren't they? You buy them new trainees? The ones you bought him split. Then we better go away. Come on, Leo. Whoops. Oh, dear. Yeah, and I've got it all to go through again with our Josh. I can't wait. Hiya. What are you doing here? 
Well, I've come to watch you do one of your two jobs, and I can't even get one. Aww. No, no, what I'm nearly here for is I thought I'd practice my heavy brother act. Uh-oh, what have I done? Nothing. Uh, can you talk? Yeah, I'm on my break now. Well, as good as. Do you want to go for a coffee? We can go down the road. Yeah, OK. So, what's this heavy brother act stuff about, then? Well, it's a bit, uh... Come on, then. Well, you know this morning when he was talking about Carl Banks? Oh, you're not going to go on about Carl, are you? I've heard it all before 300 million times. Well, it's just that... A... I know. He's married. I know he's a bit of a lad. But I've never... Oh, well, I've never met anyone like him. Oh, I can't explain. You wouldn't. You'd just laugh. I wouldn't. You would. You've never felt like that about anyone. How do you know I haven't? I just know. Well, Jackie, be careful. I don't think he's a very serious person. Well, that's what I like about him. No, I mean, I don't think he's as serious about this as you are. He likes playing the field. He doesn't really care about anyone. I don't want to see you get hurt, Jack. Oh, you don't know him? OK, yeah, he was like that. I know he was. But not now. Not with me. So what was I supposed to do? The ones you bought him split. Oh, yeah. And you were busy, so I... Split it, Leo. Yeah? Well, what are you having a go at Leo for if you want to fight over this fight with me? Go and get the ones I bought you. Oh, what a ridiculous fuss over a pair of shoes. How much did they cost you? 60 pounds. 60 quid? Mick, the other kids wouldn't play with him because he was wearing the wrong ones. That's because suckers let you go out and buy expensive ones. If only parents had the sense to say no. Yeah, but he was miserable. He's playing you for a complete sucker. And another thing, right? You don't go out paying 60 quid on trainers for one of my kids without asking me first. Now, just a minute. Just hang on a minute. Stop pushing me out every time I try to be a real part of this family. Well, I've got to ask your permission every time I want to buy them something, do I? Oh, of course not. Yeah, well, that's what it sounds like. Look, the point is, you're not a parent. You don't know. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be. You don't let them have everything they want, that's all. They split all up here. Split? Yeah. Split, did they? Well, they sort of come apart. Oh, I see. Sort of come apart, eh? And, uh, what did you use to help them come apart? A pair of scissors. Leo, you didn't. These go back to the shop tomorrow. Oh, Dad. Oh, no, that's a bit harsh. You've got to learn, Leo. You can't have everything you want in life. And you certainly don't get it by lying to people and manipulating them. Yeah, you do. Just shut up, will you? We're learning a lesson here. I'll take them and throw them in the bin. Oh, please don't take them back, Dad. Do as you're told. Go on. Oh, his little face. Mick, it won't hurt just this once. Let him keep them. Don't give in to tantrums or you'll never win. And don't worry, you'll get over it. He's just got to learn the basic facts of life, that's all. Anyway, I thought Carl was supposed to be your mate. Yeah, he's OK. It's just I don't like what he's doing to you. Nothing to me. Well, nothing that I don't want. Do you know where he was today? Not particularly. He was meeting this woman. I said I don't want to know. He's free to meet anyone he wants. So is she? Some slag he met window cleaner in her 30s. She asked him to come back today. She said her husband was away and she had some odd jobs for him. So she got some odd jobs for him? That's OK. She was there for about five hours. He said she was insatiable. Insatiable? Yeah, that's what he said. He was bragging about her. Um, I don't believe it. <clears throat> I suppose you want to stove me head in that way. He was with some old tart. And he was shouting his head off all over the close about how good he was and how she couldn't get enough of him, stuff like that. Look, I'm sorry, Jack, it's just... He's not the right guy for you. He's gonna hurt you. He was bragging about it. So who did he brag about me to, then? All his mates down in the pub, the people at the bus stop. It was everybody knows, oh, Jackie Zix, and she was easy, she was begging for it. Well, I just... Well, I couldn't stand to see you throw yourself away on someone like that. Oh, don't worry about me. <clears throat> worry about him. He's going to be very sorry he ever met me. 